Hi, my name is Lavish Kumar. In this video, we will learn how to manage media settings in NopCommerce. For this tutorial, we are using version 4.0. So before we get into how to manage media settings, let's talk about what are media settings. In NopCommerce, all the product images, category images, manufacturing, everything that you save, all the graphics, are handled or configured by media settings in NopCommerce. And the way you store these images are basically two options. You can either store these images in database or as a file system. And there are pros and cons of both options. You know, like some store owners prefer to store all the images like product pictures, categories, profile, avatar, manufacturer images, etc. to in file system compared to database. The reason is because the more products you add, the more images you will have. Hence, the size of your database will increase. And at some point, it can affect the performance of your website also. So the more pictures you add, the, again, you know, the size of your database will definitely increase. While on the other hand, some store owners prefer to store everything in database. This way you don't have to worry about anything. Everything is in one place and easy to move. So let's look into the dashboard section and see how these settings are configured. If you go into the dashboard section, from the dashboard we will go into configuration and settings and from here we will go into media settings. And here you can see all the options to manage all the media settings and configuration. So you can see here first option is pictures are stored into your site which is by default set to database. So that means all the images that you are looking here, whatever you have, all the products that you have on your website are being stored in database. And I can show you here the file system. So if you can go into nop.web in the root folder in images, here we don't see much here because everything is being stored in database. So what I'll do is I will keep this in front of you and I will change the setting from database to file system and it is going to ask me if I'm sure if I select yes and you can see here all the pictures just got added here. That means all the images are being stored as file system. Now, what you have to remember is if you are planning to change your server, move website from one server to another, you have to be sure that you take a backup of these images and you move these files as well. Or your product images will not show up on your NopCommerce site. So this is one thing that you have to keep in mind with file system. But while if, if you have just the database as the default setting, this way you just have to move your database if you're planning to move your website from one server to another. Okay, so let's look into the other options here. This here we have image maximum size. You can define here if you like multiple thumb directories, you can select this default quality images. There's a scale from zero to 100 by default is set to 80. The If you increase the size, basically that will increase the size of your images as well. So we can leave it as is if you like import images using hash uh, bytes basically it's a database function and picture zoom option right now if I go into any product page for an instance this product page I just selected a laptop and I when I click it nothing happens I can simply change the pictures and that's it if I enable this option and save it now if I go back and refresh the product page, I can click and zoom in basically to these images. So yeah, so this option gives you this feature. So I can disable it back. So let's look into the next option for products. Product detail image size, these are the dimensions that are, you can define here. So basically all the, these pictures are being displayed here are coming by this dimensions. You can define the thumbnail image size as well or the product thumbnail image size for catalog and product page and here you can see the associated product image size sometimes you have associated products you can define the size of that so I will just show you an example 
from 550 on product detail page, I'm going to make it 350. Okay, and I will save it. Now if I go to product page, and if I refresh the page, you can see the image got smaller. So this is how you can define all the dimensions for your images. So I'll just change it back to 550. And I will refresh the page and it'll be back to normal. Okay. And again, like these images are defined by you. You control these settings 100%. So depending on the theme and style of your theme, you can um, configure the size of these images. And other pages settings include settings for category thumb image size. So for instance, if I go into the category page where we have for an in this example, like computer, I have desktop notebooks are for these category images are being controlled by the settings. Manufacturer thumbnail images are being controlled by this section. So here we have the manufacturer images. Vendor, if you have any card or wishlist thumbnail image size, mini shopping cart or avatar size. So I'll give you an example. So card and wishlist thumbnail image size. So if I go to any product, let's say electronic, cameras, and if I select here a product, and I will select this product and add it into shopping cart. When I go to the shopping cart, we can see the image here. So in this example, I'm going to increase the size to 150 and save it. And now when I refresh it, you can see that increase the size of the product on the shopping cart. So yeah, so this is how you can manage media settings in Opcommerce. Now it's time for us to wrap up this tutorial video. Hope this was helpful. This video is brought to you by Opcommerce, open source shopping cart. Thank you.